Hello and welcome back. It's Leonard here again from digitallearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to install WordPress from your cPanel in order to be able to start customizing your website um, to the looks and the design you want it to be. So in order to access your cPanel, basically before you can install WordPress from your cPanel, that means you've got in a domain name for your website and a hosting and remember in the previous video I recommended getting a hosting either from from Bluehost or from TMD hosting these are the two um, hosting uh, companies that I'm actually using hosting providers I'm using presently and I recommend it for um, everybody I do business with and for those I teach and for equally clients that I work with. So basically, if you have done that successful, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress from the cPanel of TMD hosting and that of Bluehost. So the processes are just the same. Um, there are not too many different. The only thing that will be different is just the interface at which you do the installation from. The back end so basically when you bought your hosting and your domain name you were sent your login details to your email and you can just click on those login and fill in your information to log into your cpanel but basically um, the short way the easiest way to access your cpanel is the name of your domain for slash cpanel and once you click on the name of your domain.com or dot org or whatever the extension is and then slash cpanel that will automatically redirect you to this login page this is where you input your username and the password um, that was sent to your email you input your username and the password in order to be able to log into your cpanel so once you log into your cpanel this is what the cpanel looks like um, it is from this cpanel that will be able to create um, some professional emails like info at your domain name.com support at your domain name.com we can forward these emails to uh, either our yahoo mail uh, box or our gmail account and then we can reply from um, those uh, emails uh, directly from either our gmail or yahoo mail account which i'll be showing you is part of what i'll be showing you how to do in this course um, so the whole lot of things you can create databases you can you know set up databases and all those kind of stuff you can import export the um, all of your website files in order to be able to move it from one hosting to another all of those things can be done using your cpanel here as you can see as i'm scrolling down here the whole lot of things you can do with your cpanel which i'm not going to cover all but i will cover the essentials of what you actually need to do so this is how your cpanel looks like and this is where we'll be installing wordpress for from but before we go further i want to equally show you that of bluehost so if you got your hosting with bluehost all you just need to do is either you click on the link that was sent to your email to log in or you go to bluehost.com and then click on the login page here which will actually take you to um a page where you will log in and once you log in this is how your dashboard of the bluehost look like um, so you can actually assess your dashboard here if it is from here that when i go to my site i uh, will just click on it and then start installing wordpress on our website and basically two ways you can assess your cpanel with uh, tmd hosting is either you go to the website here at tmdhosting.com and then click on login and once you log in it brings you to a dashboard like this here you will see your domain name all you just need to do is to click on the domain name and when you click on the domain name here to log into your cpanel it will actually automatically um, redirect you to uh, the cpanel once you log in so two two ways i've showed you to log into your cpanel is with tmd hosting is that you go to the name of your website first slash cpanel and then log in and it brings you here or you go to the tmd hosting website itself click on login input in your details um, that you were sent to you when you sign up or when you get the hosting and then once you do that it will bring you to a dashboard like this 
and then you see this button here that say log into the name here in this case your own website will be what will be listed here your own domain name so once you click on login you'll be brought to a C panel that looks exactly like what you are looking at from my system so basically to install wordpress from your cpanel first i'll begin with the bluehost once you log into your bluehost account um, this is where you'll be brought to and all you just need to do in order to install wordpress is to click on my sites so once you click on this site as you can see i have a whole lot of sites that are listed here which have installed wordpress on all you, you need to do now is to create a site so once you click on create a site you are going to add the title of your website and then the tagline the tagline will be like a brief description of what your website stands for so all you just need to do is enter a title here um let's say the title could be something like my blog then the description will be anything um blog about blogging about fashion I or all, all everything you need to know about fashion, everything you know about comedy, everything you need to know about the entertainment industry, whatever that is going to be, you are going to input in those details here. Yeah? Um, a brief description, like a sentence describing what your website stands for, and then the next thing you will do is to click on this advanced button and you scroll down here. So once you scroll down here, you are going to add the email that you'll be able to use to operate your website. The email is going to be here. You are going to type that email here. Then the username that you'll be using to log into your WordPress dashboard, your website um, uh, WordPress dashboard, that is what you're going to put here. Um, I will say you put in something you can remember. It could be a combination of your name or whatever you want to use as a username. And then the password should be something that is very strong. So you just click here, input in those details, and once you finish inputting in those details, the next thing is just to click on next. And once you click on next, you'll be brought to a page like this. This is where you are going to select. In your own case, if it is your first time, if you are buying hosting for the first time, you only see one domain name here. But in my case, I have several domain names because, and remember, that is the advantage of getting a hosting with either Bluehost or TFD hosting. Is that with one hosting account you can host as many domain names as you wish to that means if you collect a contract from a client you can host it with your own hosting um you can host your friend website you can host your mom's website you can host as many websites as you want with just a single hosting account so in my own case i'm going to select whatever domain name that i want to install wordpress on and on the directory i, I will advise you leave this empty don't install anything here don't put anything here uh, in this case if i put anything here let's say wp or like put in um blog or whatever it is that means wordpress will be installed not on the main website it will not be nigeriapoliticscafe.com slash whatever you are going to put here so if it is wp that means wordpress will be installed on your the name of your website for slash wp so if people go to the name of your website directly um dot com they won't assess anything there will be no information there so just leave the directory empty and then you scroll down here when you scroll down here um the next thing is um by default bluehost gives you this access to this plugin you can install this plugin that means if i click on next now and wordpress start installing at the end of the day all of these three plugins will be installed on that website um alongside with the installation of wordpress so if you want it you can go ahead and leave it checked and just click on next if not you can uncheck them and still click on next and once you click on next it just takes few it's not up to a minute or two and wordpress will be automatically installed on this domain that you've chosen here so wordpress will automatically install that is basically how you install wordpress from um, um bluehost the back end of bluehost the next thing i want to show you is that of it's as simple as that and you'll be given access to log into your website then to install from the cpanel of tmd hosting um, basically, as I told you earlier, to log into your cPanel is the address of your website for slash cPanel, and you'll be brought to a page like this. You input in your username and then your password to log in, or 
Alternatively, you can go to the TMD hosting website, click on login, and you'll be brought to a dashboard like this where you'll be asked to log into the your, in your own case, it will be the name of your domain. And all you need to do is once you log in, it will be brought to a page like this. Now, to install WordPress from this cPanel, all we need to do now is to scroll down here to until well, we have um this software this wordpress icon here this is where we want to do to install wordpress so all i just need to do is to click on the wordpress um, logo and once i click on that logo it will take us to the next page where we will need to install wordpress so this is the dashboard where we can do all the wordpress installation here and then all i need to do is to scroll down here and click on install now remember what we are doing is to install wordpress so just click on install now and it will now ask us to select the version of wordpress we want to install always go with the latest version presently wordpress version 5.3.2 is the latest so you go ahead and go with the latest version and then the installation will now be on https and remember that you got free um, SLS certificate when you installed your or when you buy bought your hosting so it's going to be on this and here you will now choose the domain name where you want to install WordPress so in my own case I'm going to install it on a subdomain it could be in your main domain but I want to install this WordPress on a subdomain So that subdomain is going to be tutor because this is what the domain name I will be using throughout the course of um, um, setting up your website. It's going to be tutor.colorszone.com. Now on the directory will now be this. Remember, as I told you earlier in WordPress in Bluehost, if you put WP instead of this installation to be done on this main website, it will now be done. On this subfolder that means in order to assess, assess your website once you type in the name of your website you will need to put in WP before you can assess this installation so I would just advise you remove that and leave the directory as empty now for the subdomain remember I told you that you can equally create a, an unlimited subdomain that means you can have something like sales at your sales dot your website dot com you can have something like um, um, that means you can install WordPress on this domain or subdomain name or you decide to build something different with that you can maybe you can install some other software with that subdomain name it could be um, for instance let's take Jumia for for example Jumia has Jumia.com.ng uh, as their main website and they have other subdomain like uh, food.jumia.ng travels.jumia.ng and all those kind of stuff these are different websites under Jumia that serve different purposes. So that is what a subdomain actually does. With this, you can install WordPress in on your subdomain. TMD hosting and Bluehost gives you access to actually having a non-limited subdomain name. So you can install WordPress in it. You can decide to install some other apps in, in it. So that is basically how you use your uh, subdomain name. So you go ahead now, the, site name you are going to input in the site name here and the address uh, sorry a brief description about um what your site is which is in this case is the tagline if you want to install this uh, wordpress plugin you can go ahead and check this to actually have that installed and here on the username and admin you are going to put in don't please don't use admin as your username um, because um, it's not advisable security wise it's not advisable so you have to use something that um, is actually very strong and then you go you are going to input in your password here you can automatically generate password by just clicking on this button to generate a password and the password will be generated for you once you generate the password you scroll down here and then here on the admin email the email that will be associated with your wordpress installation that is what you're going to put here and then you scroll down here the language should be english and here will be to manage um your plugins itself uh, all those kind of stuff is good to limit these ones are not necessary for now so just scroll down here and then if you want to install a team um well, automatically tmd hosting gives access to some of these 
um, free teams that you can just scroll and then click on any of the team that you want to install but for now we have a team we are going to work with so we don't necessarily need this team installation so once you fill in every other information correctly all you just need to do is to input in an email where um, the installation will be forwarded to so once you input in an email here you just go ahead and click on install and basically that will take less than a minute or thereabouts for wordpress to be installed on a website and when i log in and start customizing our website it doesn't take that much time um, to actually install wordpress and as you can see here congratulations wordpress was successfully installed your new installation information is forwarded to your email and as you can see this is the information as you see here um, i'll just click here to open up um, the WordPress website, as you can see here, is how our website looks for now. So all we just need to do is to log into the back end with the username and the password you created, and just log in to actually access your WordPress dashboard. So if I click on login now, you see this is our WordPress dashboard, and this is what we'll be working with. So on our next video, we are going to actually look at how to customize this dashboard, how to install Teams, how to install plugin and start working on our website. So gradually, we will now start working step by step on what and what is needed to actually set up a fully responsive, um, professional WordPress website. All right. So that is it for this video. Uh, until we meet again. Um, bye.